May all sinned beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sinned beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sinned beings never be separated from the happiness of man and suffering. May all sinned beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger and all suffering. May all sinned beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sinned beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sinned beings never be separated from the happiness of those that suffer. May all sinned beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that holds some close
You can visualize the beautiful image of Buddha. <coughs> so one foot from your forehead, the one foot from your heart, which is more convenient. You can visualize the beautiful image of Buddha. His left hand holds baking board filled with nectar, and his right hand is a touching mudra. Now visualize three syllables, white arm at Lord Buddha's forehead, red eye at throat, and a blue hung at the heart, symbolizing body, speech, and mind. Now from Lord Buddha's forehead, white light and white nectar which slowly come to your forehead and them into your forehead. Completely purify the negative energy of the negative actions of your body. Now from Lord Buddha's throat, red light and red nectar, which slowly come to your throat and amp them into your throat. Completely purify the negative energy or negative actions of your speech. Now from Lord Buddha's heart, blue light and blue nectar which slowly come to your heart and absorb into your heart. Completely purify the negative energy or negative actions of your mind. Now your impure body, impure speech, impure mind, transform into pure body, pure speech your mind. Your mind become clear like crystal.
Now mental image becomes a little bit smaller and it comes to your forehead and absorbs into your forehead, absorbs into your heart. You and Buddha become inseparable. I mean Buddha, Buddha is I. There's no separation. Now at your heart, visualize the golden mantra, Lord Buddha's mantra, Om Muni Muni Ma Muni So Clockwise. comes to your forehead and fill all the space with this golden mantra and you can send this blessing mantra all over the world. Now meditate on the emptiness of Lord Buddha. So first reflect that all the phenomena are absence of independent existence. To whom I take refuge, Buddha also absence of independent existence. Now you analyze the Buddha, whether the body of Lord Buddha is Buddha, whether the mind of Lord Buddha is Buddha. When you analyze, you cannot find the Buddha. That does not mean the Buddha is non-existence. Buddha do exist. On the composite of the body and mind, on the merely level by the mind. The question is how Buddha appears to our mind. It appears something inherently, independently, something existing from the side of the object. <coughs> Buddha does not exist as Buddha appears to our mind. If Buddha exists as Buddha appears to our mind, when we search the Buddha, we have to find the Buddha. But we cannot find the Buddha. So there is clear indication that Buddha is absence of independent existence. So understanding emptiness must be related to the law of cause and effect. When you completely eliminate this mistaken self and at the same time you see the truth of the law of cause and effect. That means truth of truth, understanding truth of law of cause and effect eliminate either an existence. Understanding emptiness eliminate nihilism. And 
you can meditate on the middle of emptiness with the mindfulness. Things are empty because depending on causes and conditions. Things are conventionally do exist because in nature is absence of independent existence. You can meditate with emptiness, with mindfulness, without distraction. So this is meditation on emptiness. Whatever small virtues merit are gathered from prostrating, offering, declaring, rejoicing, requesting and beseeching, I dedicate this to attain full in life. In the snow lands of Tibet, the source of benefit and bliss, all of Alakiteshvara, Tenzin Gyatso, live until the end of cyclic existence.